And also welcome to our first Throwback Thursday of 2011. I've missed my challenges. This is my favorite challenge. Um, basically, if you're new to my blog, this is, I do these challenges. I used to do them every Thursday, but starting with the new year, I'm going to do it every other Thursday. So it'll give you a little bit longer to participate. Um, what it is, is that what I kind of focus on the older cartridges, that's why it's called Throwback Thursday, because we have so many cartridges in our library that we have gotten long ago, a long time ago, and we just kind of neglect because there's so many new ones that are coming out. So that's why I wanted to dedicate one day to the older cartridges, okay? So that's basically what Throwback Thursday is if you're new to my blog. So for this first Throwback Thursday of 2011, I actually decided it for it to be a viewer's choice, okay? So you, all of my viewers, it'll be your choice on which cartridge you would like to use. So my choice, I actually chose this one, Sweethearts, and believe it or not, I can't believe I've never used it. And this is the, and if you um, haven't heard, this is the cartridge I'm going to be giving away on Friday evening. This is just one of them, I should say. On Friday evening at my Ustream, I had mentioned before that if you had purchased, um, if you had went ahead and pre-ordered any of my stamp sets, I'm going to choose when, random winners who placed their orders and whoever actually ordered you'd have me at chocolate would, um, if your name got chosen, I will refund your order and I will send you your stamp set as well as this cartridge here. And now I know why I got this cartridge. It is so cute. And to be honest with you, I think the real reason why I actually got this cartridge was because of this little guy. I love, first of all, I love Valentine's Day. I mean, that's like, that's, for, I love Valentine's Day. And this, I love angels, cupids, hearts, everything, just everything about Valentine's Day I love. And I think this is the reason why I bought this cartridge, was just for him. And I cannot believe I never cut him out. Okay, so I'm going to be using him as well as, there's another little heart in here. Well, anyways, um, let's, okay, we're going to be using this heart here on page 72. We're going to use the scallop one, but we're not going to use the one with the holes in it. We're going to go ahead and use the blackout versions of these. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do a shaped card. I'm going to go ahead and design this in my Gypsy for you right now. Okay, from that Sweetheart cartridge, what I did was I went ahead and I got the blackout version of that scallop heart. And to create um, a shape card, what you want to do, if you want it to fold, like, like to open, like just from the top like that, what you want to do is just copy, oops, you're just going to get that heart and you're going to click on your advanced feature, click on your copy and you're going to move it right above it, okay? So now what you're going to want to do, you see this feature right there, that's the little flip feature, you're going to, if you click on that, you see how the heart turned around, turned upside down? So now what you want to do is kind of line it up the best you can. And what I do to line up, how I line up mine, is I just kind of like, I get, I use these as my guideline. You see these little lines, like the little one inch line, two inch line. I kind of line them up against the one inch line right there. And let me go ahead and bring this guy over also. You see how I lined it up with that perfectly? And then now what you want to do is just kind of use these little nudges right here. And kind of just go a little bit like that, just for them to overlap. Can you see how they're overlapping? Now, when you overlap, if you notice, if you were to cut it out like this, there'll be little holes in between, okay? So what I did was I got little tiny rectangles, which are right here. And what I did was I, and these are, um, first of all, the card, the base is at four and a half inches and I got these cute little they're little rectangles I picked up from the George cartridge 
sorry, sorry about that. My dogs decide, they always decide to sit here and have this big old play, play, play date at close to midnight every night when my hubby's trying to sleep. So anyway, sorry about that. Um, so anyways, what I did was I grabbed the little, um, rectangles and what, what you want to do is kind of want to put it right in that section where it's actually going to fold. And let me grab the second one here. I'm going to scooch that over as well. So this way, so now what we're going to do is we're going to weld all of those pieces together. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and to weld, actually we're going to group them together first. So you're going to click on this button right there. And then you're going to just going to go ahead and click on everything in this on this section here that you just got through um, building right here. Click it all till it turns blue. And you click on your advanced feature. And make sure this little welding button is yellow. And that means when it's yellow, that means it's turned on. Okay. So what you want to do is just click on the eyeball. And then if you look at it, let me zoom in here for you so you could see. You see how the, all of that um, part in the center is gray. That means that when you when you cut it out, that'll all just be even. You're not gonna. Sorry about that. You're not going to um, have any holes in the center. Okay. So now what I did was I got just um, this one here is the layer to that. And as you could see, it has all these extra hearts that I don't need. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide those. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and hide these little hearts that we don't need. And all I needed was the big heart and that is sized at 4.71. So this heart is going to layer on top of there. But you know what? Before I do that, I want to copy this first because when I fold it, you're not going to be able to see all of the scallops. So I'm going to click on my advanced tab, click on copy. And then I'm just going to bring this over here. So I'm, I want to try and um, just cut my, trim my papers down so I can cut everything on one page. This isn't going to fit on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get another layer. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on copy and that'll copy over. Now the reason why it all came over all together is because they were all welded together. Remember? So since we don't need all of them, since you know, the card is on the first page. What we're going to do, we're, we're going to ungroup all of this and we're just going to go ahead and um, just erase everything from that card. Okay. So I'm going to bring this layer right there. So, so when I cut, so when I cut it out, everything that's going to cut out on page one, I'm going to cut that out first. Then I'm going to click on layer two and that's going to cut out this scallop, which will be page two. Okay. So we're going to go back to layer one and I'm just going to get rid of this one heart since I have it on the second page because there's no room. There's not going to be any room to um, cut it out on the first page there. Okay. So anyways, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that scal second scallop that I cut out that's going to layer on top of here. And then this is going to be the third. So it'll be three layers. That's going to be the third layer. And check out my cutie patootie angel or my cupid I should say. He is going to go right on top and my little cupid is sized at three inches and these are just the layers, the little heart and the little, um, what do you call it? The little bow. Like you Basically that's how I designed this in my gypsy. Let's go ahead and get okay, it together. So what I used today for this card was I used the linen color cardstock from Paper Tray Ink because that one actually matches up with that Martha Stewart. Remember that Martha Stewart paper that I had used um, on the that card I used with the Mother's Day cartridge, which was this one right here. This is the Martha Stewart paper. Um, anyways, that linen, I think it's called fine linen, matches actually perfectly with that, with this, with that card, the that little paper pack. Um, so anyhow, so this is what the card, this is what I was telling you. You see how it went perfectly? So what I went ahead is I went ahead and I scored it. See when you fold it over, you see how there's no scallops there? That's why I decided to cut out this pretty scallop sparkly heart. And that's also from that Martha Stewart. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and grab my ATG gun. And I'm just going to go ahead and get this down like that. Okay. 
Okay, let's go ahead and kind of just slide. Now the way I did this, I could have went bigger with this heart, but I kind of wanted to have almost like it was like a little shadow feature to it. You see how you can see a little bit of the white right there. Um, well, the linen color, I should say. So that's, I wanted it just like that. But like I said, you can make that one bigger if you'd like. So when you fold it, you see how it was just, it was just missing those scallops at the top. Okay, now what I did was I used that pretty paper from Martha Stewart. And look at how pretty that is. And I got my favorite. Of course, all of the ribbon I use, I love. It's from Paper Tray Ink. And this color is a pretty color called Sweet Blush. I went ahead and I just, um, I had to tape the ribbon down on the back because it would just keep sliding down. And I just made a little bow. So I'm going to use for this, since that is glitter, I'm going to use my all-time favorite handy dandy zip dry glue for this one. Because I just want to make sure this stays down and it doesn't lift because sometimes it's hard with glitter. It's kind of hard to stay down. So I'm going to put a good amount on here. And what's nice about this is if dry, it does not wrinkle your paper. That's why I love this. Love, love, love that stuff. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get that down. Let me make sure it's straight. So that's that. And then our beautiful, beautiful little Cupid here. What I did was I went ahead and I put the little bow like he's holding the little bow. And I'm going to go ahead and also glue down the heart. This is the layer, the layers that we cut out from him. So for this challenge, actually I failed to mention at the beginning, first of all, pick the cartridge you'd like and it has to be something of, something of either Valentine's Day, a love card, something of that nature, something cute with hearts. Okay, all right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and get down, get some pop dots on him. How about that? And this is also that double side. Really, oh, I love this Martha Stewart paper. It's so pretty. Okay, let's go ahead and put this down right there. Let's put him right there. Look at how cute that is. Okay, now, hmm. I don't know if I want to add a sentiment or not because it just looks pretty the way it is. You know what I'm going to think? I'm going to use that love right there. And this is from Paper Tray Ink, their mixed messages. Boy, I had this set like forever. Let's find that one stamp. Love. And let me grab a little, um, get a little, a little, what do you call this? little acrylic block for that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab some ink. I'm just going to go ahead and I change my mind. I'm going to use my Memento Tuxedo Black. I love that. Love my favorite. That's my favorite one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this right here. Actually, you know what? That's not bad. I think she, I think I like it. Love. Okay. Well, I guess I have no choice but to like it because it's on there now. So anyhow, I think I might be adding a little bit of stitching on him. Um, yeah, I think I might because it looks like I got a little bit of ink on his hair, on his little do there. So anyhow, that is my card for this week's um, Throwback Thursday Challenge. So you have two weeks to complete your project. Um... Basically, all same rules apply. Just go ahead and enter one project only. And as soon as you enter your project, I will have a Mr. Linky right below this post. As soon as you enter it, uh, your project, go ahead and leave a comment. And that's about it. Have fun making something with the cartridge of your choice. And then it's got to have something with hearts or Valentine or like a love card. That's what the challenge is this week, okay? So don't forget to join Nikki and I tomorrow for our Ustream. And I will be uh, announcing all of the winners who place their pre-orders with me. And that's the ones that will have the opportunity. So if you haven't done it yet, and if you would like to order a set of my stamps, go ahead and place your order because I'm randomly choosing winners. Um, and I will go ahead and um, 
refund their money and they will um, get the stamp set as well as a cartridge okay and I'll be picking four winners okay so you'll have four different chances alright everybody have a great day I will see you back here soon bye bye